Hey, what's up, nerds? This is Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we are going to bring back the Math Hammer. I know you guys all missed these absolutely titillating videos. The excitement of mathematics brought to you to analyze and overanalyze the new Magikin of Nurgle Battle Tome. So, today we are going to take a look at the Glotkin, Orgot's Demon Spew, Morbidex Twiceborn, Bloab Rotspawn, The Great Unclean One, and Rodigus. So, just to give you guys some, uh, I guess, uh, boundaries on an understanding of how we're coming up with the numbers, all of the damage output is being assumed against a 4 plus armor save, and all of the uh, damage absorption that we're going to talk about on the defensive profile, that is all being compared to uh, there being no save modifiers. So just kind of canceling out the rend and save stacking that you can get, sort of assuming that we're going to break even on all of those. So I'd also like to mention, uh, shout out to somebody in the Magikin of Nurgle WhatsApp group, uh, this is actually take two on this particular video. I totally screwed up the math on the mounts for the Magath Lords the first time through. So this is the uh, redone version of these. And the math is actually correct now. And it changes some of the order of things a little bit in the rankings later on. Uh, but the conclusions are still pretty much the same. Anyway, let's move on. So the Glotkin. So uh, also in this, when we're talking about monstrous actions, we're uh, just assuming that the two up always happens just for ease of math sake. So the Glotkin comes out to an average of 18 damage in each combat phase. Um, we're also assuming that we're staying on the top bracket of uh, each monster profile uh, just uh, for comparison a command point gets you there even if you bracket it down so I think that's a pretty reasonable assumption to be making so his per point value on offense is 0 0.0257 per point um, that's just sort of an abstraction a relative number to compare different things to in terms of their efficiency so that uh, you know, we can look at more than just the raw output and the raw damage absorption. On the save side, it is going to take 60 damage to eat through this guy, and his damage absorption per point is 0 0.0857. So, that is definitely quite powerful. Um, he does a heck of a lot of damage, and he is definitely very hard to bring down up next is Rodigus he is definitely less damaging coming in at 12.96 but he's definitely more efficient per point at 0 0.262 and on the save side he takes just as much damage as uh, the glot can do but he does it more efficiently on less points so 0 0.1212 per point uh, for Rodigus. Up next, the Great Unclean One. Same point value as Rodigus. Uh, a little bit more damage than Rodigus does. 0 0.0273 per point. 13.5 damage per combat phase. And then his damage profile, he is going to take 54 damage to bring down. And that is 0 0.1091 per point, a little bit less efficient than Rodigus because he is the same points cost for two less wounds. Up next we have Bloab Rotspond. So he is going to be averaging 11.39 damage uh, per round of combat, so bringing us to a per point value of 0 0.038. And to bring him down is going to take 39 damage or 0.13 per point. Orgot's Demon Spew. This guy definitely gets my vote for uh, my favorite scroll in this book. He's going to be doing 14 damage in each round of combat. 
bringing his per point value to 0 0.047, quite a per point value. And on the damage side, it's going to take him a whopping 63 damage to bring him down thanks to his 3-up save and 14 wounds. So his up damage absorption per point is going to be 0.21. And finally, we have Morbidex Twiceborn. He's going to be doing 12.74 per battle round, and he is going to be... Uh, 0.398 per point for his offensive profile and then on defense it's going to take 54 wounds to bring him down 0.1688 so you guys have probably lost track of all of the numbers so we're putting it together in a handy dandy chart so here is our look at offense these are ordered by their efficiency per point so our three Magath Lords are coming in at our most efficient per point offense. Although we've got to note here that although the Glotkin is the least efficient, he is the most damaging. Although Orgot's Demon Spew is not far behind him. Um, Morbidex Twiceborn is still more or just slightly under the power level of the Great Unclean One and Rodigus but much more efficient per point. Uh, Bloab Rotspawn is the least damaging of all six of these, but the third most efficient. All three of those Magath Lords coming in at being incredibly efficient for their points. On defense, once again, Orgot's Demon Spew, the most efficient per point on uh, out of all of these guys. So he is checking the box for most efficient offense and most efficient defense. He also has the most overall damage to take him down at 63. Rodigus and the Glotkin clock in next. However, the Glotkin is once again last in efficiency. So he is very expensive for the amount of damage he can do and the amount of damage he can take. Morbidex Twiceborn, also going to be our second most efficient per point on defense, and Bloab Rotspawn, our third most efficient on defense. They are 54 and 39 damage to take them down, respectively. Bloab, definitely the weakest of all of these on defense, but 39 damage to take him down is still absolutely nothing to sneeze at. These guys are all really good, all of the Magath Lords. But you're going to see a pattern here with Rodigus, the Glotkin, and the Great Unclean One. That they're consistently just the least efficient for their points. So, the conclusions that we have on these guys. The Magath Lords are definitely the MVPs of this book. Um... They are incredibly efficient for their points, and they have very good abilities on their War Scrolls. Although each of them has fewer special abilities than the Glotkin, Great Unclean One, and Rodigus, they're all definitely very strong abilities. Now, they each have sort of a specialized, distinct role. Bloab is your caster. Uh, Morbidex is your tank and Orgots is your big hitter. Although they're really not that different in their offensive profiles, uh, their defensive profiles definitely are uh, a bit different. And although, you know, Morbidex doesn't come in quite as high on the regular defensive profile, it's worth noting that he does have a special ability to heal half the damage taken in each round of combat. Uh, so that is definitely very powerful. He's really hard to take down. Now the Glotkin, Great Unclean One, and Rodigus also have the Locus of Fecundity, so they're healing D3 in each of your hero phases, unlike the Magath Lords that are only healing one. So that is definitely a bit of a boon to them, but they're still really inefficient as far as their offensive power and their defensive power. Um, they're all really high on offensive power and defensive power just on the raw numbers, 
but they're still uh, very overcosted per point. They do have strong special abilities, but I don't think that the special abilities really are uh, making up for that differential in power level. Um, that's not to say that these abilities are not really good, but you know, the Glotkin is definitely not 700 points good. Games Workshop from General's Handbook to General's Handbook typically maxes out at a move of 20% in either direction for each War Scroll. And I think that's definitely in order for Glotkin, the Great Unclean One, and Rodigus. So that would bring the Glotkin down to 560. The Great Unclean One and Rodigus would both go down to 400. I think those are pretty reasonable point values for these guys. That would definitely make them much more playable. Uh, I think you're not going to see them at all in competitive play, although, you know, the more casual and narrative folks are definitely going to be bringing them out because they're still really cool. The Glotkin is really going to do a tremendous amount of damage on offense. Um, but uh, they're just not worth their points, I don't think. And if we do bring them in about 20%, I think that brings them more into line of a reasonable value for them, where they're going to be a, a decent choice between them and the Magath Lords. Um, as far as uh, the Magath Lords go, I think they're probably a little bit too efficient for what they do. And so I, I would say they probably need to go up a little bit in points uh, for sake of internal balance, um, you know, making them a little bit more of a cross comparison to the Glotkin, Great Unclean One, and Rodigus. Also, um, you know, they're, they're really good for what they do compared to units outside of the book. They're way more efficient than a lot of other monsters, and um, that's... I don't know that that's necessarily a problem problem because these guys are, I think, going to be the backbone of successful Nurgle lists for the time being. But they're, um, they're, they're just really strong. And anything that is really that strong in comparison to other things in the book, for the sake of internal balance, definitely there needs to be an adjustment. And I think... A lot of things in this book could probably use to go down in points, and as I do more Math Hammer videos, I think we're going to definitely see that. Um, the other thing to take into consideration, too, is that we got move four on all of the big boys, and all of the Magath Lords are movement eight. So that is definitely a significant difference. Um, not only do they hit hard, they're also really fast. So the Magath Lords definitely, I think, the best War Scrolls in the book Orgots in particular, I think, is your best value overall. Um, you know, but they all definitely have different roles, and I can certainly see lists where you're going to run all three of them, uh, and then have you know the next 1,100 points being you know whatever seems like the best at the time. So that's about it for now, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this. I apologize to those folks that had to watch this a second time to get the correct math. Uh, but for most of you, this is just going to be right the first time. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks.